get the kids out, and I just, I just glance one more time, and sure enough, you know, penis is in his hand, phone's out, his pants are down. Police in Port Orange, Florida, on the scene after a call for a man exposing himself in a park. The suspect, LaVon Glenn, is less than cooperative when police have to chase him down. Thanks for joining us here on Law and Crime. I'm Anjanette Levy. LaVon Glenn is a 49-year-old man who police in Volusia County, Florida, know very well. He's been arrested several times and is a convicted felon. On August 5th, Port Orange Police found Glenn after receiving this complaint. So I, we parked next to the car. I get out and it looked, it looked like he was, he had his dick in his hand. Maybe I thought he was taking like pictures or something. His phone was up. Okay. Like at the steering wheel. So I'm like, I don't, I don't think that's what's going on, but let me just, I'm getting the kids out at the same time. So I get the kids out and I just, I just glance one more time and sure enough, you know, penis is in his hand, phone's out, his pants are down almost to his knees. So then that's when we loaded up and called. About four minutes later, police tracked down LaVon Glenn, who's agreed to give a statement. Glenn claims he was changing his clothes. It's a little difficult to hear Glenn, so listen closely. Just out of curiosity, what brought you here to change your clothes? I said, okay, I'm going to sit right here. I'm going to change my clothes real quick. I'm changing my clothes. And then I said, damn, I left my, left my underwear in there. Got, got out, got my underwear. Put my clothes back down, put my underwear on. Tie my shoes, and then y'all walked up. Okay. They don't want them trying to put my clothes back up. You said, look, you see me when you walk up, I ain't doing shit. I'm not filming nobody. I'm not doing nothing that shit. I'm putting my clothes back up. I ain't doing yeah, you ever have, like, while you were changing, did you have your phone in your hands at all? No, my phone's always up here. Okay. Police then put on some gloves, and it's clear they're going to ask Glenn to get out of the car. Glenn continues to insist he was just changing his clothes. No, you're not going to take my car, bro. You're not going to take my car. No, I'm not, man. You're not going to take my car. You're going to get taken. You're going to get taken. You're going to get taken. Get out of the car. You're not, man. Get out of the car. You're not, man. Get out of the car. I didn't do nothing wrong. I didn't do nothing wrong. I'm not going to tell you again. You're going to get tased. Nothing wrong, bro. Don't hold. Don't touch me, man. Sir. Call the supervisor. Don't put your hands on. Sir, I'm not going to tell you again. You're going to get tased. I'm going to record this, bro. That's fine. Okay, I'm not touching nobody. I didn't do wrong. You're not going to touch me and put that car. You're not. Last chance. You're not. Oh. That's not mine. You just put that in there. Yeah, okay. Get out of the car. Put that in there. I ain't doing that. Get out of the car. Get your hands off me, man. Back up, Davis. As you saw, Glenn refused to get out of the car several times and then said he would record this whole interaction himself. He also accused the cops of planning something in his car. Drugs, maybe? Then after getting hit with the taser, he takes off. I know, I know, I get it. Clearly, this is a problem. The officers chase Glenn in their cruisers. Black Mazda. All right, all units, if you're not in the pursuit, 10 3. 10 3 is police code for stop transmitting. 15, I may have the car on Carmen Drive. I'm trying to catch up to one. Bravo 15 Central. I think I have the vehicle westbound Ridge Boulevard. Minutes later, officers catch up to Glenn and run after him. Officers from nearby South Daytona police join in the chase. One officer even scales a wall. Oh, you gotta be done! Hey, we reach it! We reach it! Stop! We're still heading north! Behind your back uh, now. Uh, behind your back. 
Alright. Put it on your back. Alright, got the arm. Alright. Alright. Get down on the ground. Officer Stun Glenn, one more time. Oh. On your back. Oh. Loosen up. Oh. Loosen up and you won't get tased again. Loosen up. Loosen up. Every time you tense up, you're getting tased. Alright, I'm talking Go ahead, bro. LaVon Glenn is finally in cuffs on the ground, but he's still a little defiant. Give me keys. Hey, I'll my keys. Hold on, drop the keys. I want my keys. Drop them. I don't want my keys, man. You're not going to have your keys. Drop your keys, bro. Oh, come on, man. Drop them. Drop your keys. Thank you. Yeah, man. All right, well, you're putting yourself in terrible position. Huh? Roll, roll forward. Okay, now pop it on your feet. All right, ready? I'm going to stand you up. One, two, three. You gotta help yourself, man. Come on. Once Glenn is on his feet, officers see he has an injury to his head. Come on, here, sit down. Come on, sit down. Okay, I'm dizzy. Come on, I know you're probably dizzy. Come on, you good. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down, bro. Come on. You need to sit down. Sit. Sit. Do you want to stand on? Glenn faces a number of charges, indecent exposure, assault with a deadly weapon, battery on a law enforcement officer, possession of cocaine, possession of cannabinoid, fleeing or attempting to elude, and resisting arrest with violence. Glenn was taken to the Volusia County Jail. His bail was set at $23,500. For Law and Crime, I'm Anjanette Levy.